I'm here in front of the Chargers facility with the newly appointed defensive coordinator, Greg Maneski. First off, congratulations. I see you've got your sucker here. Is yes. that like a gift that you got for your... No, I just your... pulled it in. It was upstairs. I okay. was hungry. Okay. That's all that that is. Yeah. All right. Welcome back to San Diego. You were the linebackers coach from 2002 to 2006. It's got to be kind of cool to come back to a place that you already have some familiarity with, right? Yeah, I think with the wife and the kids and everybody knowing the area, you know, not yeah. new doctors, not new hairstylists because I look so good. But That's <laughs> important. <laughs> but basically, you know, it, it was good for the family and good for me as well. You've only been officially on the job a few days now, but you've got familiarity with this defense. Number one in the league, but they struggled a lot with big plays, creating turnovers. What are you going to do to improve that? Well, I think it, it, it all goes back to OTAs and training camp and, and focusing and having an emphasis on getting the ball out. Do you think you have the game changers you need in this locker room? Do you think you need to bring in some new blood for that? Well, I think uh, if we need playmakers, hey, that's what it is. We got to do what we have to do. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah. All right. People have thought of Ron Rivera as a more cerebral kind of guy. Now, I'm not saying you're not cerebral. You are very smart. You've got two degrees, one in geology, one in education. You're an intelligent guy, but you strike me as a just go out and knock the living daylights out of them. Who's right? Am I right? I guess. You know, I I <laughs> you were a player in the NFL for 12 years. You did have some fun. You were a force on the field, but off the field, I think you're related yeah. to the most interesting man in the world. Let me just throw a couple out there. Okay. You uh, you throw a piece of raw meat on the locker room floor before I, games. I don't know anything about that. I, I, I've heard these. I've read these stories. You would hit yourself on the head after you missed tackles to the point where coaches were worried about you. You slept with a football every night. Do you still sleep with a football? No, I don't. Either. Okay. I sleep with my wife. I th that's a good thing. <laughs> that's a good to know. It's good for your marriage. But here's what I think, all right? I think that speaks to your passion and your intensity. How much of that guy is still with you now? I think a lot. I think uh, I've grown up a little bit more than I have before, uh, and I have a little bit more patience. But for the most part, uh, still the crazy and wacky guy I was as a player, uh, and I want to have fun. I want the guys to exude conf confidence out in the field, and I want them to play at a fast level, and I want them to understand the game. Uh, it's their profession. And I think, and I always tell players, the, the ability that you have is way up here when you mm -hmm. come into the league and the knowledge of the game's down here. And then every year that you play, it's got to go hand in hand because your ability goes down, but the knowledge of the game goes up. And a lot of guys play 12, 15 years. Some guys only play eight years. It's because of that level. They don't learn the game. It's their profession. That's what they should learn. That was very cerebral, don't you think? Yes, I think <laughs> it was. What's your coaching philosophy? Who's influenced you as a coach? Uh, you. <laughs> no, I was under some pretty good coaches in Joe Gibbs, uh, Marty Schottenheimer, yeah. and uh, you know, I guess those two. Uh, uh, shoot, I forget his name already. Right. Not good if you're Tony forgetting. Dungy. Okay. Oh, Tony's yeah, yeah, kind of a big one. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. That's <laughs> okay. Is it Red Bull? Is it coffee? What is it that you're? Uh, is Red it suckers? Bull, Red Bull, coffee, uptime, and ephedrine. Is that legal now? I don't. <laughs> is it? In Canada, it is. Oh.